Welcome to the High Tech Investments News Report for Week 17. The news report covers some of the many investments projects High Tech Investments is currently involved in so you can follow our progress. We hope you will enjoy this news feed and look forward to your comments and remarks. Hi, Bo here and welcome back to this week's news report. We have managed to get to week 17 of 2024. Things are really happening this particular week and in the past couple of weeks we have seen some heavy movements and this week we also ran into a bit of a drawdown. We are definitely not the only ones that did that. The one that has created all the issues so far for us is actually the US Japanese. And if we have a look at how this has developed over the past couple of months, we can see down here since the 8th of March, things have been moving quite uh, up heavily. And at the moment, the Japanese is a bit out of control, 1180 pips since 8th of March up until this Friday, this particular week here, it ended up at 157.414. And this is a new more than 30 year old time high. We have to go back uh, before 2000 actually to find anything similar to this. And it's obviously been weakened. There was also a meeting on Friday here regarding the interest rate for the uh, Japanese yen. And uh, overall, the national bank in there still decided to keep it at the same level. And uh, that looks like uh, things are spinning a bit out of control at the moment. We are following this closely. and. In particular, we're going to follow also this because this is our trade. So we came in here where we were basically trading sideways and from there on things went up. And so far it has moved in our trade 660 pips roughly. And uh, obviously that's quite a lot. We are still OK. We are still uh, in the green. So we have not blown any accounts, anything like that. But we can see that there's a few other people. So within the PAM community here that uh, is of risk and we're going to have a look also to see through this video here exactly how many EAs has been affected because the ones that we might have thought would be affected most has actually not been at all. So that is very good news if you are looking for new copy trading. But first of all, we're going to start off with yield notes. And again, this particular week here, we just locked in to see exactly how our account looked. Basically, there was no news in here, no updates. Everything is still the same. There's also no newsletter from uh, Steve or Woods or any of the yield notes or the Sendemy team in here. So we're going to just jump on and have a closer look at the SAP coin and how it has developed this particular week here. Last week, we ended up just at a point and then seven zeros, seven. And then after that, it has been trading pretty much sideways and then actually dropped here in the past day down to again point and then seven zeros and then six. So obviously not much movement, not uh, worth much at the moment overall. So we're not really going to dwell too much on that. What we will have a look at is how our SAP coin has been doing. We are once again uh, having this one here locked, we are staking it, but unfortunately staking is very unstable as I've uh, spoken to you about before. You can see the individual dates and we haven't gotten anything for this particular week, even though here we have last time 9th of April, since then nothing has come in. And at the moment it looks like February, March and April ends up in the same level. This is 560 SAP that we have gotten in so far, so obviously not very impressive from that particular side. But however, PNY, we have one new one actually came in the day after we had it last time. So on the 19th, we had one of 133. Then the next day on the 20th of April, we got another one with 133. And if we have a look at the months down here, it looks like now April is on the same level as February, luckily outpacing March. Uh, with just a bit over uh, 600 in total. So uh, obviously that is quite good, but we would like to get back to some of the higher numbers later on. So let's hope at least it, that uh, that will happen in the coming months if the enemy and yield notes are starting to actually move on something. Overall, this particular week's profit is 0.7% or 133 PNY. So that one is pretty easy to calculate. Have a look at the Bitcoin this week to see how that developed. That has also been going both up and down. The red circle over here is where we actually ended up last time. So we we're at 63,800 when we left that last week's video. Since then, things were moving up and in the right direction to 67,230. 
and then a bit of sideways movements and then a few days ago again a big drop so all the way down to pretty much uh, 64,500 and since then things have been going from uh, bad to worse 62,391 was it down earlier here today uh, which is Saturday where we're shooting this particular video and currently trading at 62,964 so again looks like we have a downwards trend or maybe it's gonna just start going sideways over the weekend but sometimes the volatility on the weekend is actually more heavy than on the regular Monday to Fridays now let's have a look at the trillion news in here they don't really have much either to say this particular week correct use of support tickets is what they wanted to talk to us about this time around and basically they are just selling us what's important again here so how you have to do this there's a ticketing system on the account and then in order to make things happen a bit faster then you have to uh, make sure that you have the specific descriptions also to help and assist if you have any issues or your account is locked then there is also a trillion support down here so uh, you can email support at trillion.com and then you can reach them that way now if we have a look at the tree coin again not much of a development uh, not similar to uh, bitcoin at all we left it at 0 0.001274 so that was in the red circle up here since then it has pretty much been uh, sideways trading all the way through middle through uh, the week here we saw a bit of a pump and dump again here so jumped down and then quickly up and once more it's actually trading more sideways and now we're looking at the price at point triple zero one three four three so for this particular week we are actually slightly up from last week and at least we'll have to take that as a positive note positive note is also the money tree the money tree is doing quite well for week seven here we have the low risk one 134 dollars so or 2.5 percent the medium one which i believe is the one that is working the best at the moment 128 and then 2.6 percent and this is also the one we're going to have a look at in a second and then the high risk one even though it makes a bit more money obviously it's also higher risk 141 dollar or 3.7 percent so overall all three accounts is doing quite well and uh, getting a few percentage in for this particular week which is very nice to see now if we have a look at the medium trading one again as i told you before started off with an account of five thousand you can see the balance is now six thousand two hundred and eighty nine equity is also above five thousand so floating profit and loss is only at minus 96 so it hasn't really been affected on the japanese yen runaway here total return is actually pretty okay now with the 23.9 percent obviously we've been trading this fund for a long time you can see 368 days so we've been doing that for a year but we uh, had some issues in the beginning so where it did quite well and then again adjustments of lot sizes until we found the right one down here since then things have been going quite well as you can see moving up all the way through so a very good development overall for this particular one and uh, at the moment monthly returns is that set at 1.9 weekly returns 0.4 but obviously that's not really true because it takes everything into consideration since we started so go and have a closer look at that on our website if you want to know more we can also tell you a bit more about the profit retriever for week 17 in here again last week it was actually up things were looking quite well it also seems to have fared okay this particular week with the US 30 number two signal with $438 or 4.4%. We have the Aussie USD at $272 or 2.7%. And shortly followed by the Euro New Zealand $255 or 2.5%. US CAT $222 or 2.2%. And then Great British Pounds USD number two $210 or 2.1%. So overall, if you were traded those top five in here as you can see there's no japanese ones in here so obviously the profit retriever didn't do very well with that one but we still ended up with 1399 dollars so or 2.8 percent for the top five and that is pretty okay now obviously let's have a look at the entire portfolio again in here don't forget that we cannot change the lot size because all of these are used for the coupling service 
which is why the monthly returns are also uh, every single month going down. But let's have a look at the graph. Obviously, a very nice one. And then you can see the individual weeks over here. So last week, overall, we did $1,576, which is down from the $2,682 last week. So basically, we are back at the level in uh, early April, where we also made $1,589. So a difficult market at the moment. Now, if you want to try and learn more about the Profit Retriever, you can obviously click over here on the right hand side in our website. And if you're more interested uh, going down, especially also for the Money Tree or the Profit Retriever on the coupling service instead, where we will trade it for you, all you have to do is link up through Expert Forex, then you can do that. So both of the details are here on the website if you are interested and also both the coupling service also actually hosts the trade explorer here that we are going to talk about again today because this is still one of our favorites we are not really touching anything uh, at all on this it's just trading very very nicely all the time 22 pairs this week is a bit down again on the profit 148 or 1.8 percent but it is making money uh, especially in this uh, certain environment we have been in then it's always nice just to get some cash in the 10 pair one has uh, done even better, $226, so 2.3%. So that one has also weathered most of the storm here. 22 pair is actually uh, slightly in plus, And the 10 pair one, I think, is currently in a drawdown of about $10. So obviously both of them fared extremely well through the uh, rough oceans there. No problems at all. So if we have a look at the 22 pair, we can see again the numbers up here is still the same and we have a history of 347 days, so almost one year now. We have a look also down through the weeks, the net profits, you can see they're quite nice. Last week, 321, this week, 148, but it's still better than the last many weeks that we had in here. And then you can see the individual uh, currency pairs that has been traded. There's quite a few of the Japanese in here. The Aussie Japanese is here. You have the cat Japanese, Swiss strengths Japanese. And what else do we have? Euro Japanese in here and Great British Pounds Japanese, New Zealand Japanese, and then the corporate that is making the trouble at the moment. The US Japanese is actually the worst one in here. So it's doing extremely well and with only a drawdown here of uh, actually a plus for the uh, 22 pair, as I mentioned, then this copy link service might be something for you definitely to consider. This is link 145C in here. If we have a look at the 10 pair one, again, the numbers, they look better than the 10 pair one. It is cashing in slightly better. Same history, 347 days. And it's also doing quite well. You can see recently here, last week it was $832, so which was very, very nice. Since then, it dropped down to the 226 I just mentioned to you about. And then if we have a look also to see the 10 pair one, what is actually trading at the moment, it has the Euro Japanese in here, it has the British Pounds Japanese, and it also has the USD Japanese. So it actually shows up three times out of the 10 pairs, so which would normally be extremely dangerous here to have that kind of exposure, especially on the Japanese one. But it has been going fairly well. As I mentioned, there was only back here in the early days. Since then, things have been going really, really well. And uh, yeah, continue to, to thrive. And with the $10,000 one, you can see we're now at 18,000 roughly in here. So going in the right direction. Again, the expert Forex coupling services here is the link 146C. So if you are interested and intrigued after you have seen those results, then that is the link to go and follow. Now you can also go and follow the Wave Liberator links for week 17. Here is the top five EAs and they are basically normally traded on a $10,000 account because you can use it for propriety trading or FTMO. And if we then cook it down to actually the $1,000 accounts here instead, then you get these numbers here. For the top five, the Euro Great British Pounds, $72 or 7.2% this week. The Euro USD, $70 or 7%. US CAT $65 or 6.5% and then Aussie USD $64 or 6.4% Aussie CAT $58 or 5.8% and overall if you would have traded those top five for the weight liberator EAs for that week $329 or 6.6% and definitely very good and strong results and the same is actually the entire portfolio we have in here of the 20 EAs we have a balance started off at 200,000. 
since then you can see we have added 15,000 on this particular one it is having a floating uh, loss at the moment of 6,500 or 6,600 almost but look at the closing profits in here free margins again this is for property trading so when you look at the total returns of 9.5 percent and monthly returns of 1.4 and weekly returns of 0.3 then you can escalate it up times 10 in here so you end up with a 14 percent monthly once or three percent weekly trade win 69 still very good and plenty of history 251 days and we really love this graph very very nice and smooth and just going up up and up so definitely worth taking a look at these eas also we have them all on our website and at the moment we have about 20 and if we are talking about the us japanese that one is in here also so you might want to avoid that one for a moment we are looking at other currency pairs maybe even replacing most of the japanese one not all of them have an issue but at least some of them have and uh, we might just turn down the exposure for this particular one uh, so far yeah but we obviously also want to have a closer look and see exactly how it works on a monthly basis uh, and a weekly basis in here you can see the graph again is the same one the same history and then for this particular week here we have made 584 dollars which is a bit low from the past couple of weeks don't forget again these ones here all the eas are set up with initial lot sizing we have to trade them on uh, on these one thousand dollar accounts and then that way we cannot change the lot sizing as things goes up but we have some real accounts that you can see how that actually works when we operate the uh, individual uh, lot sizing in the correct way now we also have our uh, side liberator for week 17 the top five eas they are a bit below the wave liberator but definitely doing well so these are new signals that also will be available soon for the coupling service great british pounds usd 77 dollars or 7.7 percent aussie swiss francs 75 dollars or 7.5 percent euro usd 51 dollars or 5.1 percent euro great british pounds 47 dollars or 4.7 percent and then also New Zealand with $40 or 4% for the week. So again, if you would have traded those top five results alone, you would have made $290 or 5.8% for the week. That is definitely quite good. We also have this particular one in a portfolio. At the moment, we have 16 EAs. So on a $10,000 accounts, again, you can also use these to trade them on propriety trading and FTMO. That's exactly why we set it up. But as you'll see also the drawdowns and floating profits at the moment is at minus 1,600. Means that you can actually trade these on $1,000 accounts. But we are still telling you that put them together in a portfolio. It works much, much better, similar to our live accounts and PAM accounts. Close profit, 1,256. Plenty of margins. And then total return at the moment is... a minus two and that's because of the floating profit we have incurred because we started off i guess when everything went a bit haywire so good to see that it's still working quite nicely monthly profits uh, calculated by fx blue at the moment 1.2 and 0.3 percent on a weekly basis again if you trade them on a one thousand dollar account instead of the ten thousand that we have then you will end up uh, with a moderate 12 percent or three percent per week Trade wins 67.6, so a bit on the lower side at the moment, but also a very difficult market. Pips have been traded 3,849, and then history only 20 days for this particular portfolio at the moment. Now, if you find uh, you want to have more details on the Wave Liberator or the RSI Liberator, then you can always come to our website, click on the portfolio button up here, and then you will also find the news report that you are following here at the moment. That will give you all the details for everything that we have our uh, hands in and money in. And the next part is basically the PAM account. So where both the Wave Liberator and the ISI Liberator is set up. So if we click on that particular one here, you will then enter a range of information. And one of the things you will see here is obviously Wave Liberator results and videos from uh, the past six eight months and then you'll also see a real live fx blue trading account that we have added in here so this was a test account that was started back in december 2023 and when you click on that particular one you get the real account started off with ten thousand. the balance is now twenty two thousand. at the moment you can see the equity has actually dropped quite a bit 
And again, thanks to the Japanese uh, runaway train here at the moment, the floating profit and loss is at minus almost 7,000 in here. But the close profit is at 12,000. So things are pretty uh, okay and under control at the moment. Total return 52.8. Monthly returns at the moment has actually gone up in the past weeks, even though we haven't made major adjustments to this, simply just trading better through the market at the moment, except for obviously the drawdown that we just have entered. So 18.3% per month, very nice weekly returns, just over 4%, and then a nice 70% trade win, which is really, really nice to have, and a history also of 146 days. So going quite well, and if we have a closer look at what that looks like in the money-wise, you can see the net profits for the last many months in here. Uh, all of a sudden we were, uh, well, we have been running a three-digit ones, so 600, 600, 400. And then in the March, all of a sudden things have really taken off. And we haven't, again, as I mentioned here before, we haven't really turned up the EA that much. Yes, we have made constant adjustments uh, to the EA as both the market develops, but also uh, to make sure that we don't uh, carry too much risk. But anyhow, the uh, EA doesn't care. It actually made us more than $1,000 for uh, end of March. And then here in April, 1400 1400 and now 1700 for this particular week. So that is also a new all-time high. And if you want to have a closer look at it over the monthly parts at the moment, we started off with 1200 back in December. And then things have been going quite well. As I mentioned here, we added more EAs because this is not a copy link that you can go into. And then you also change the lot sizing as you get more money into the account to keep the percentage up. And that has come back with an astonishing $5,811 so far for April. We are not really completely done yet. So obviously we'll have to see where we end up. So all of this is leading us here to our PAM accounts and what we have on the management at the moment has just passed 300,000. So that is obviously very nice to see. We now also have two accounts and the first account that we currently are running is the high tech investment wave liberator account in here. Again, you have a look at the numbers, weekly returns 2.5, monthly returns 11.1, .1. good profit factor. And we now have almost two months of history in here. You can also see on a day-to-day -day basis what it is cashing in. So it's doing quite well. Last week it actually had the best day, which was last Friday, 3,252. Since then, this particular week here has been a rough sale. Monday was down just below 1,000. And then Tuesday, very good, 1,900, then 1,500, 1,400. And then Friday was certainly not a good day for the EA, $596 only. But that's uh, sometimes what you'll have in here. But when you have a, a look at the bigger picture, let's go for the weeks over here. And then you can see net profit. We started off with only $500 for one week. And then as more money is coming in, things were actually going up, except here for uh, Easter again. So we took a big hit. All the traders went home. There was not really much volatility in the market. But after that, certainly kicked off again here at 6,000, 6,400. Last week was the best week we had so far with 9,300. And then this particular week here was a difficult one, as I mentioned here, with 6,500 only. It is beating all the rest of them. And we haven't made big adjustments either, only to continue to compensate again for exactly what is uh, in the PAM account of money, of course. So you'll find more details on how you can actually join also the PAM account, both for the RSI and the Wave Liberator. Simply click this one, start here. It will take you over to the Blackpool Market accounts. And then you can find these two accounts in there. You can download the setup instructions for both PAM accounts in here. They are both covered. And when you click on that particular one here, you will also see the Wave Liberator accounts. It will give you some more details and some links in here of where you can find everything. So let's have a closer look at the new RSI Liberator. Uh, this one here looks a bit better. It started off very well. Weekly returns 4.8. Monthly returns is currently calculated at 21.7%. Uh, profit factor higher, 4.29, but there's only 10 days of history so far. But it has been cashing in. 
but we started it off uh, just before the market went a bit funny. You can see the first day was only $11, next day 110 so definitely picking up. And then last Friday, as you saw with the Wave Liberator also, did extremely well, $655. Again, also showing here, Monday was not a good day with $28. But then Tuesday in here, 23rd, 304 And then things started to be a bit more difficult through uh, the middle of the week with $39, 38 and then here 81 on Friday. So obviously it is chopping away at it overall. But as I mentioned earlier and also in the beginning in the video here, the uh, runaway train for the Japanese yen in here has affected uh, quite a few of the accounts. As you can see, some have been completely unaffected. Other ones have definitely taken a bit of a hit. And if you have a closer look at some of the PAM accounts that is currently available through Expert Forex, you don't have to go in with them. Uh, we have our two accounts here. So this is the RSI Liberator portfolio. Again, you have to add minimum 2,000 in here. Uh, age is eight days of trading so far. And current balance is 26. It's actually already gone up to 30,000. Gains at the moment is a bit low. Yes, it's because the last account that actually come in, that's the reason why it's there, 4.8. Uh, drawdown, it has a bit of a drawdown at the moment. It's only 28.3%. Uh, and also you can see the net gains because of the drawdown is in minus overall. But you can see project growth 227% uh, at the moment, which is a bit high and maybe a bit unrealistic. It will even itself out when it's a few more days old. You take a look at the Wave Liberator portfolio over here. Again, 53 days, minimum investment 2,000. And obviously here we have more than 280,000 in here. Gains more than 36,000. Gains overall is 12.8%. So it's doing quite well and also it's getting more stable, but there's a bit of a drawdown at the moment, which is 41.6%. We are obviously not very pleased with that and we are monitoring that very, very closely. But overall it still looks pro projected growth annually. Uh, it says 88 here on that particular Excel. We believe that it's a lot higher. We are looking currently at 14 to 15 percent per month but obviously due to what is happening in the market right now it can be a bit difficult but there is uh, some other accounts that are actually a bit in trouble so again just to uh, show you these are the ones that we have here in green 28 percent and 41 um, then we have some scary ones which is the one up here this is the hedge portfolio plus 30 71.4 percent Definitely not a good one. We have also the uh, equity in here. So with the hedge portfolio, 71.2. So also at a very, very dangerous level. Uh, and then we have a couple of accounts up here. Also a couple of copy links at 45. You have at 47, so quite high. And then also we have down here at 46, another one. So, and we have a few in here that is more um, similar to what we actually are doing at the moment. So they are not red, they are not really uh, green either, but they are lying right in between of where uh, high-tech investments finds itself. And they also seems to be a bit more balanced. You can see this is also a liberator portfolio and they seem to tend to do a bit better overall. Alex, he had uh, one video for us this particular week here, and then this is an important update and review of the settings for the Expert Forex HDA. And here he actually goes through some of the details of what is important, what is the primary things you need to talk about and you need to review, and which ones are not so important again. It's definitely worth having a look at to also get a reminder of how to set it up. And uh, this was again uh, instigated because uh, of the current drawdowns we have. And that's what we had for you in this week's news report. I hope you enjoyed the uh, run through of all our different investments and training portfolio in here. Things are looking okay. Obviously, we have to be a bit careful about the drawdowns for the trading at the moment, but we are ready to do a manual intervention if need be. So there's no need to worry too much. We'll have to see how the market goes for next week. So the buffer is uh, fairly big and obviously we want to keep it like that. So for next week, please uh, tune in again and see how this particular drawdown, hopefully we came out of it well, or at least it's going in the right direction. 
time will tell. So until my next video, bye bye. I hope you enjoyed our news report. So please don't forget to like and add your comment below as we would love to get your feedback. But before you go, make sure you subscribe to the channel and don't forget to keep the notification bell turned on. That way you will never miss any of our future videos. We hope to see you back on this channel very soon.